In 2018, Formula One mandated the use of the Halo safety device. Pushed through by Jean Tot and the FAA, amid much criticism, the titanium frame is designed to protect drivers' exposed heads. It followed a sequence of scary crashes. The halo is designed to work in three scenarios. 1. Collisions between cars. 2. Contact between a car and a barrier. 3. To deflect debris. The Halo weighs 9 kilos and was first tested in 2016. The first incident where it played a role was when Nairé Fukuzumi's Formula 2 car landed on Tadasuke Makino in Barcelona. Makino said, without the Halo, I think the tyre would have hit my head. But its first major F1 incident was Charles Leclerc Sauber being struck by Fernando Alonso's flying McLaren in the Belgian Grand Prix. After the incident, Leclerc said he was very thankful to Tot and the FAA safety team after admitting he'd not been a big fan of its introduction. F3 driver Alex Peroni escaped from a violent airborne crash at Monza in 2019, striking the barriers while inverted. Roman Grosjean's opening lap accident in the 2020 Bahrain Grand Prix truly proved its life-saving capabilities. This has sliced through the Armco barrier, with the halo protecting Grosjean's helmet as it smashed underneath the top layer. From his hospital bed, Grosjean said of the halo, I think it's the greatest thing we've brought to Formula One.